For the next 24 hours, I'm in Guangzhou, one of China's mega cities. I got a train here from Guilin, and I'm leaving tomorrow around the same time. So if we check the time, it is Friday at 5 p.m. And so we'll see what I can get done in 24 hours. Okay, I just tried to go to this cathedral, which you might be able to see in the background, but it's closed, I guess, and so everyone's leaving. So I'll try to come back later. I love big city art sometimes. It's weird and I think it's awesome. I don't know what this is. This is the Guangzhou International Finance Center and they have some tree roots with a giant bug and some people. And then right behind all the tall buildings. I love tall buildings. Whoa. I've come to a Shunda restaurant and I've gotten some lotus fruit and shrimps. Shrimp? <laughs> I don't think it's plural like that. Here's the lotus root. It's very loud in here, but hopefully you can hear me. Mm. It tastes kind of like some barbecued meat. Like they have really good sauce on here. It has good texture. And they might have like seafood in the middle. I'm not really sure but it tastes so good. Okay, next I'm having some shrimp. It has the head, the tail, the legs, everything. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the effort to peel everything off. <laughs> Maybe I'll pull the tail off and then I'll bite it at the head. Okay, there's some tail. Mm. The flavor is delicious. It kind of reminds me of some southern United States shrimp. I don't know, like Cajun or something. Next, I'm gonna try the corn. Oh, shit, that's hot. I'll pick it up with my fork. Mm. Yeah, whatever they put on it, it tastes kind of like bread ink. It's good. I found the tower. This is the Canton Tower. It's one of the tallest towers in the world and it looks really cool. That's all you really need to know. Well, there's lights on the ground and there's like a million picture spots because it's just a huge field. Actually, the views from all around are cool. There are really cool buildings around as well. I'm so happy. <laughs> The next hour was not so special. It took me like 20 minutes to get through a security checkpoint to cross this bridge. Then there were just crowds of people waiting to get up to the tower. When I finally made it to the top of the tower, all I could see was fog. What a view. <laughs> it's all fog. They actually told me like four times going up, they were like, it's all fog. We can refund your ticket so you don't have to go up. But I already paid, so I decided I'll just go for it. I mean, it might clear up at some point. After the tower, I walked to a place called Party Pier. I just wanted a beer, but I didn't realize they had serious clubs there, and it was also too early to do anything. Then it started raining really hard, so I decided just to take a taxi back to the hotel. Okay, so far today, I am two for five. The restaurant was great and the views of the tower were great, but the cathedral was closed, tower had no views from the top, and party plaza was too much of a party for me. I can't end on a 40% success rate, so I'm gonna go out. There's uh, two bars nearby that look pretty decent. First, I went to Church Church Bar, 
It was right next to the cathedral and it turns out from the roof I could see beautiful views of the cathedral. <laughs> I only had one drink, but yeah, I almost fell on the way down, and then somebody heard me and came to check on me, so that was embarrassing. The second bar had a completely different vibe. It was called a wine shop, but it was all beer and they had a lot of different craft beers from all over the world, including the United States. To end the night, I got a snack from 7-Eleven and watched a movie in my hotel room. It's Saturday around 10 a.m., but currently it's pouring and thunder and lightning, and I don't really want to go out. There's this rooftop area and it is pouring, but there's this like green plastic. The rain is really intense. So for breakfast, I got some uh, fish tofu, barbecue flavor. These look like some type of animal crackers and Gatorade. Mm, it smells good. Yeah, it tastes fine. It's just like tofu. It's got a little spice to it. All right, let's try the animal crackers. They're okay. There's not much flavor, but whatever flavor there is, it, it does taste good. Yeah, it's fine. This will hold me off. An hour later, the rain calmed down, so I went out and explored some of the streets. After a little while, I made my way to Heidi Lao. Heidi Lao is a popular hot pot chain in China, and if you're dining alone, then they put a giant stuffed animal across from you so you're not by yourself. For those who don't know, hot pot is a type of meal where you get soup in the middle of the table that starts boiling, and you also get raw meat and vegetables and put them in the soup, so you cook as you go and you eat as you go. This restaurant is known for being kind of crazy. Every time I went to do something, like add my own food to the hot pot, the waiter came around and helped me. He even put an apron on me at one point and tied it for me. <laughs> At some point as well, there was this noodle dance. If you order this long noodle, a guy comes out and does a dance with it. They also put this green cloth over my backpack, I assume so that it matches the rest of the aesthetic in the restaurant. Overall, I was in like a general state of confusion as to what was happening. Okay, so the soup is boiling. Now we add, we added tofu, corn, and beef. They're each about three minutes, so I'll be able to keep track on the camera. Okay, this one is pork. This is only 15 seconds. Mm. It's just soft and chewy. It doesn't have much flavor. The tomato adds a lot of flavor. Okay, next is the beef. The flavor is a lot better on that one. Maybe it soaked up more soup, tofu. It doesn't have much flavor, it's a good palate cleanser. I'm excited for the corn. Mm. I love these mini corns. It's all very good. I filled up pretty fast. I finished all the meat, but some of the veggies I wasn't able to finish. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you have a wait to get into the restaurant, you can get your nails done. The restaurant has its own nail parlor. Finally, I went to the museum of the Nan Yue King. Nan Yue was a kingdom, an ancient kingdom in the south of China. They had some cool stuff, but honestly, I was getting pretty tired at that point. 
My favorite exhibit in the museum had ceramic pillows. Apparently ceramic pillows were popular in this part of China. Since I was lazy, I spent an hour at Starbucks and got a chocolate muffin. Then I took the metro back to the train station. Thanks for watching.